one of the things I say to people all the time is never ask yourself, do I have mites? Always ask yourself, how bad are my mites? Now, when I say to people, hey, have you done a mite count lately? No. Well, why not? I don't see any mites on my bees. Really? Come on now. How many bees have you seen with mites coming in and out of here while we've been talking? None? I can't see them, and guess what? I have four eyes here. Are you really going to see a mite in all of this group of bees? People ask me all the time how to check my bees for mites. Well, there's about three different ways that you can do it. If you do not have a screen bottom board and a mite tray, you're going to have to use either the ether roll or the sugar roll. Both methods involve scooping up a bunch of bees into a jar and putting either sugar or ether in there and then counting the mites when it's over with. Now my preferred way is using the mite board. So let's talk about this mite tray. Most companies give you a mite tray in your hive with your screen bottom board. This is a mighty fancy mite tray here. Look at the beautiful grid pattern. If I stared at this too long, it'd give me vertigo. But a grid pattern is nice. I just don't like this tight pattern. So if you get one like this, flip it over and draw your own pattern. If not, just throw it away. And get a regular one and draw a bigger grid pattern. This doesn't give you the vertigo that the other one does. Now, how do we get mites to stick to this? And why do we need a grid pattern? Well, the grid pattern, all it's going to do is just going to help you count one little area. Then you can wipe it off. Don't think that you can count this way, count this way, then multiply and figure out your mites. No, you have to count all your mites. But this way you can count a little area, wipe it off, and not lose your count. In order to get mites to stick to this, though, we need cooking spray. Now, this is just your generic everyday cooking spray. If you don't have cooking spray, use vegetable oil. And just spread some on your mite tray. Do not be scared to spray liberally. You want the mites to stick to this. Then all you got to do is simply slide it into place. And you're done for three days or 72 hours, whichever comes first. Now, through the magic of video, 72 hours have passed. What, what do we want to do? We want to pull out our mite tray. So we slide out our mite tray and oh my gosh, look at all of this trash on this mite tray. How are we going to be able to tell what's what? We're going to get you in real close and personal here just to show you exactly what the mites look like in all of this mess. Good. Now, in this extreme close-up, we are lucky. We get to th see three of the main little predators or pests that we will see on these bottom boards. Here's what we were looking for in the first place. This is a mite. Okay, they're reddish brown in color, and you can see their little feet. Another pest we're going to see is this little worm right here. This is from a hive beetle larva. Trying to come down through the bottom board and go in the ground and pupate. And here we have a young hive beetle. Now the rest of this stuff on this board, we have pollens and we have wax cappings and just junk bee parts. As you can see, there's a little piece of a bee wing there. But this is mainly what we're looking for, is the mites here. So now what we basically have to do is just count the mites on the whole board. So in looking at this one square, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Is that one? Eight. There's eight on just this one square. So let's recap on exactly what we did. We took our mite tray, we drew a grid on it, we sprayed some cooking oil, we slid it in for 72 hours. We pulled it out and we counted our mites. Now, in our case here, we had 90 mites. We are at the critical stage. We better treat. If we don't treat, I doubt very seriously if this hive will make it through November. Now, how do you know when you have to treat? Once you leave it in 72 hours and count your mites, you divide by three. That is your average 24 hour mite drop. Zero to eight on that final number is low. Eight to 15 is moderate. 15 plus is high. Anything over 30, which we are at this moment, is critical. Now, am I going to treat today? No, I can't. The next couple days here are going to be in the 90s, and we don't want to be treating in the 90s. But as soon as we get some cooler days coming up here, we will show you how to treat a beehive. Thank you.